Kozuki Momonosuke is one of the best characters, not only post time skip, but in all of One Piece. There are countless times during the Wano arc alone where it was abundantly clear that Oda put a great deal of care into this character, and with Wano now being done and over with, I cannot think of a better time than now to give Oda his fruits basket for putting to paper a character arc as tragic, as tear-jerking, and as beautiful as Kazuki Momonosuke's. When Momonosuke was introduced in chapter 684, back during the Punk Hazard arc, I would have never ever thought at the time that this strange little ill creature would go on to become one of the most well-developed characters in the entire series. We the readers had the utmost privilege of watching a weak crybaby samurai child of 8 years old become a strong and fearless leader right before our very eyes. Of course, this character development did not come without much struggle and many obstacles. What Momonosuke has gone through in just the last couple of months would be enough to permanently scar any other child in his position. We have to bear in mind that this kid just lost his mother and father before having to leap forward in time into an unknown world, not even knowing whether or not his only surviving relative, his younger sister, was alive or not. That is a lot for a would-be third grader to experience in such a small window of time. And it's not as though the challenges stopped there. Upon reaching the cold winter of 20 years into the future, Mamonosuke was immediately separated from his vassals, with Raizo successfully reaching the island of Zo, Kiku making it to Wano country, Kanjiro being captured on Dressrosa, while Kinemon and Mamonosuke ended up stranded on the island of Punk Hazard where a series of misadventures takes place. One of those misadventures included eating an artificial devil food created by the infamous Dr. Vegapunk which turned Momonosuke into the very bane of the samurai's vendetta, the very thing that gave rise to this 20 year long revenge plot, a dragon. This poor boy, in his hunger, became what he resents most in this world. Imagine how painful that must be, as if losing everything he's ever known wasn't enough. He is forced to uncontrollably take the form of a hateful dragon. That trauma is still so fresh in his mind, and I cannot help but to hurt for this child. Momonosuke has endured hardships nobody, let alone a damn kid, should ever have to experience. This poor boy's pain has to be insurmountable, and yet he continues on. He may cry, he may be powerless, and he may be a coward too, but you have to admire his persistence, his determination, in carrying out the impossible task of overthrowing Kaido and Orochi and opening Wano's borders. Hailing from a country where a samurai is expected to burden his troubles alone, it is extremely commendable of this young troubled boy to reach out and grab that helping hand. The weight of the world is literally on this kid's shoulders. It has to be so overwhelming to bear the responsibility of avenging your clan but to place that on someone else's plate due to your own powerlessness, that has to be crushing. But Momonosuke is able to put his pride and personal grievances aside, and it is because of this that Kozuki Momonosuke and his band of time-traveling vassals are reunited on the island of Zo. Here, the ninja pirate Mink Samurai Alliance was born with the intent of avenging Kozuki Odin and freeing the land of Wano from decades of ruthless oppression. There are numerous occasions where Momonosuke displays the fire and the vigor of a man fit to rule over Wano country as its shogun. To me, there were three examples that immediately come to mind because it stand out to me the most. The first one being Mamonosuke rallying the prisoners of Udon into battle. Just put yourself into this kid's position for a second. You just lost everything. Your whole world has been turned upside down, and it is on you in which the future of Wano resides. Your own pain be damned. You, at eight years old, must spark the flame of rebellion in the face of those who are broken by your oppressors. 
and he does so in stellar fashion. Momonosuke has a speech so enthralling, I myself felt motivated to fight this battle alongside these men. It's incredible really, and it goes to show that no matter how young or naive one might be, all it takes is one small flame to ignite a wildfire. This next example may just be my personal favorite Momonosuke moment in the entire series, and that is his declaring to Kaido as he's tied to a platform on the verge of execution that his name means second to none and that he is Kozuki Momonosuke, the man who will be Shogun of Wano. The bravery of this twerp to speak so daringly in front of an emperor of the sea, Kaido, the very monster who sent his life into despair to begin with, Momonosuke is not absent of fear, he's visibly terrified, but he understands his duty. He must fulfill his mother's prophecy, even if it means his own denies. I honestly cannot praise Momonosuke for his guts enough here. It just hits different when you know what he has been through, the hell he has seen, and the challenges he has had to overcome to land right here in this moment the night of 20 years into the future, where his homeland is finally reclaimed. Lastly, the moment Momonosuke decides to sacrifice his very youth, 20 years of development, 20 years of growing up, 20 years of experience to become a dragon large enough to fly Luffy back up to Onigashima, to finally conclude the decisive battle against Kaido. Sacrifice is a reoccurring theme present in the Kozuki's revenge plot, and once again, this boy is willing to throw away years of his very life for the sake of Wano, as if losing his childlike innocence wasn't enough already. He is now opting to become a man, far before he is actually ready, in order to make good on his destiny. Momonosuke realizes this is all he can do to contribute to this battle, of course he's well aware of the repercussions, but that does not matter. What matters is vanquishing Kaido, and it's thanks to Shinobu's right bright powers, Mamonosuke becomes an enormous dragon and he heads into battle with Luffy. Although Mamonosuke stood no chance in hell of dealing any sort of serious damage to Kaido, just his mustering up the courage to take a massive bite out of the imposing Dragon King speaks for itself. Just as Luffy said, that is an emperor of the sea you just took a bite out of. Is there a single thing left in the world for you to be scared of? And he is absolutely correct. There is nothing else for this boy to fear. This is a pivotal point in Momonosuke's character arc. He is staring death right in the face and regardless of that risk, he does what he must. That being only what he can. Being a man is more than just strength, power, or glory. It is about accepting your flaws, your fears, that in which you cannot do. It is about accepting the help of allies during your time of need. It is about not running away from your troubles when the going gets hard, but standing tall and fighting valiantly for your cause. This is what makes the character of Kozuki Momonosuke so incredible. Despite how weak and timid he tends to be more often than not, let's be honest, this boy is able to ride the tide, fighting to the best of his abilities beside an army of strong comrades. That is how the battle of Onigashima is won. Momonosuke himself did not deal the final blow. He wasn't fighting Kaido for several rounds, but it is because of him that the citizens of Wano are saved from impending doom, and Kaido and Orochi are dealt a fiery end. For the first time in 20 years, the land of Wano is finally free. Kozuki Momonosuke is the perfect man to be Wano Country Shogun. What he lacks in physical power, he makes up for in compassion and willpower. This is a man willing to do whatever if it means his country remains safe. This including fighting off a navy admiral. I mean seriously, those bottle breaths were nothing to scuff at. 
Momonosuke will succeed where his father failed. Ultimately, Odin's pride and his refusal to seek help led to that 20 year winter. But it is his son's willingness to call onto others, which has freed Wano and will bring this country back to its greatness. Momonosuke's journey to manhood has been an amazing ride. Watching as this meek little boy grew into a man is one of my favorite character arcs in the entire series. We've seen his struggle and we were there every step of the way on his path to Shogun. Momonosuke is proof that masculinity is not defined by brawn, but by kindness, resilience, and one's trust in those around him. I just cannot wait to see what kind of Shogun this young man becomes. Hey, yo, it's the one, the only, J. Adonis. If you enjoyed this video, which you most likely did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe and turn on all notifications. Stay gold.